Hello everybody, it is King Cory 100 here again. And today I, I just want to show you guys my vertical AND gate that I made. Um, this is it here. This is actually um, two AND gates put next to each other so you could get an idea of how space efficient they are. Like you could have multiple AND gates stacked next to each other. And basically how these work is um, just about the same as a normal AND gate would. So, let me just get the input wires here. Actually, I'll just put it there. Okay, so a normal AND gate, which is over here. The default is off, so um, the natural state, the default state of the output is off. So, for it to be on, these have to be on and it's off and it's on so the output is on and I think just about everyone knows that um, that gate in Minecraft it's uh, used in just about everything but I needed to use that gate in um, this contraption that I was making over here um, I'll just make a video of this later when it's finished it's still a bit buggy now but yeah so the vertical AND gate, this is the output here, it's off, and when you flick these two on, on, it turns on. So yeah, um, if you guys want to know how to make it, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you could just go ahead and pause the video now, and um, yeah, so you can make it. And I also want to show you guys like with um, the standard layout for the AND gate it doesn't always have to be a two input it could be um, five inputs as I made here so the default state is off and the output is off when this is on nothing happens nothing happens nothing happens nothing happens but when all five of them are on then the output turns on. So it's just like one big old land gate. So, yeah, thank you for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.